everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a lovely makeup tutorial for you guys today. So if you want to see it, stay tuned. But first, you need to be hitting that subscribe button. What, what is you doing? Are you about to try to skip this, aren't you? You need to hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. But stay tuned and happy holidays, you guys. So as you can see, I already have one eye done because I wanted to do something super bold for the holidays, but I don't know. I just wanted to do something super duper bold and I did all of this with my new Morphe palette. Mm. So we're about to go ahead and start on this eye and yeah, so let's get into it. The palette that I am using right now, let me scoot back a little. The palette that I am using is my Morphe palette. I had a hard time getting this palette, I just want to say that. So, <laughs> this is the new, hold on, is it the 3502 Second Nature Morphe palette? I had to get my hands on this. By the way, this is my first. Morphe palette. Um, yeah, and I I wanted to do some crazy colors. So um, let me get my let's just get into it. Alrighty. So the first color that I used was chestnut right here. So I'm gonna keep that right there. I used chestnut as my transition color or crease color, as I should say. I'm just gonna use my little, little mirror right here. So yeah, so I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. crease brush, and then I'm gonna give you guys a little story time about my Morphe brush incident, I mean my Morphe palette incident. So I'm just go ahead and go in that chestnut, and go in a little crease area. So, um, with my uh, Morphe palette, when I ordered it, I ordered it through Ulta because I was like, oh, I have a coupon. I want to use my coupon, so I might as well go ahead and ball out for this new Morphe palette, right? So, what ended up happening, I paid for the Morphe palette, everything. I'm excited. I'm ready for it to get to my house, you know, all that gorgeous stuff you know when you're all excited and I get home I look at the door and the package is there so I'm like I'm thinking to myself okay cool you know but it's tipped over so I get scared I'm like all right um <laughs> I'm already fearing the worst like I'm already fearing the worst just I could just tell by my box it was some BS in the game so um yeah, I uh, basically, I pick up my box. I'm already mad, by the way. Like, I already had a, like, a not cool day at work. So I'm already, like, beat off anyway. So this just put some extra icing on the MF and cake. So, yeah, I know I'm still going in with this, but I can tell in my mirror that it's not even, so. Um, so then I... Um, so then I, uh, what happened? So I op I'm opening the package. Also, I'm taking my Real Techniques, uh, Essential Crease Brush. This is more of a fluffy brush to blend out the edges so they don't look too harsh. Harsh. Sha, 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 Um, so they don't look too harsh. But, um, yeah, so basically... You know, I open up the package, the package, oh my god, I was too hurt, like my, all the little pans in the palette were everywhere, all the colors were mixed, I was just like, sad, so I had to go to Ulta that night, thank god I lived down the street from one, you know, so I had to go to Ulta at night, at night, 
So mind you, I had just worked the nine to five, come home, come see my palate is broke, everything. So what ended up happening was I um, got me, got my little Morphe palette, they returned it, whatever, and I ended up um, just ordering a new one. And But the sad part was I had to wait a whole nother week for it to get to my house. And I was scared the second time. I was so scared the second time. I'm like, I'm going to record this so I don't think I'm lying if this thing is broke. So, yeah. Ended up getting me a new palette and all worked out. So I was super happy this time. I'm only struggling because I'm trying to find the brush that I used. Okay. So, sorry. Um, next color I am going to go in is my Muddy. Which is like this color right here. And I'm going to go in Muddy. Go in with Muddy to just get the little darkness on the edge so I'm just gonna go in there with that just to add some depth and some smokiness to my eye because I really liked it and I was like ooh I should do this um but yeah that was like my little mishap with my little Morphe my first Morphe experience but I do want to give a shout out to the ladies at Alto who did help me I was very very happy and it just made my day a little bit better, I guess, at the end of the day, you know, whatever. It just, it just sucks when you're anticipating your makeup and you've been waiting forever for it to come in the mail. See, and that's why I don't like ordering makeup, really, because it's always some ish in the game. It's always some ish in the game sometimes, like, it just makes me so sad. It just makes me so sad but moving on I'm just right now I'm just blending this out I did bring it a little further over but we gon' we gonna fleek it up we gonna fleek it up so I'm just going in with this I chose this color because it wasn't black but it was like a very dark brown but I just felt like it would do better than the black like I didn't want something too black that's all I ain't got nothing against black. It's just I didn't want that dark of an eye. So I just bring it all the way over. And then I'm going to go back in with my little Real Techniques brush to blend it out. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I'm using this brush again just because it still has some of that chestnut on there. And it would just work out perfectly to just blend out those edges so they can be as one. Just look at look at the flick of that wrist. Woo! Look at the flick of that wrist. Woo! Look at the flick of that. Uh alright. That looks a lot good, but I should add a little bit more because I feel like I lost it a little bit. My goal for this palette is to use every single freaking color, like every single freaking color, because I like this palette and I like working with it. Mm. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done with that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go in with the lid shade. So I used two shiny colors. I had used Sauce. If you guys can like see it, there's sauce, and then I also went in with Ruby that's right here. Um, I did sauce first, I was gonna do sauce by itself, and then I looked at it and I was like, nah, 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 son, I gotta do something a little hot fire. So I'm gonna just go in with sauce first. And I'm gonna just tap that over my lid. Hold on, let me get my eye together. Neighbors looking in my apartment because I got the window open. So we're just gonna go on with going to my little tiny little lid. This is one thing about having hooded lids. Like 
you gotta be like a little bit more precise I feel like that's the sucky part I feel you gotta be because you can't be too messy with a little hooded lid that's just how I feel in my opinion all right then I'm going to take that blending brush again and just blend out the edges of that just so it can just not be all up in one spot this part you can get a tiny bit messy with just because you want it to flare out you don't want it to just be all in one spot the one thing I can say about this palette it's not a lot of fallout which I kind of like I like not having tons of fallout but I feel like yeah yeah it's not tons of fallout then I'm going to take my middle finger and I'm gonna go into that ruby go into that ruby take a little bit of ruby and I'm gonna just flick it right over that sauce because I want it I want sauce to be I want sauce to be there, but I don't want it to be all the way there, you know? So just look it. So my only con about this um, eyeshadow is you can't get it wet. Like, I, I do like this small trick where I want the eyeshadow to be super opaque on my uh, eye and yeah I'm just gonna go back in and get this together real quick I just feel like my my chestnut is slightly disappearing and I don't like that I just want my chestnut to be out here popping just right there we just we just want it to pop just a little harder so there we go with that so there's my eyes and then I am going to go in my my little tear duct and I'm gonna go into pure which is a nice little very golden like color I'm just gonna do my little tear duct in this color right here which is called pure I do like how velvety these freaking these eyeshadows go on though. Like they clutched in a mug. They clutch, do you understand? So I'm just if you guys can see, let me just go boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. I'm gonna do a little bit more over here. This, this by the way is a sample that I got from Ulta from the day that we had that small mess up. Um, this is Urban Decay's Troublemaker Mascara. Once again, I love the brush, okay? I love this brush. And it just goes through all the lashes, like. All right, so as you guys can see, I popped on some lashes. Um, ooh, got some debris on my face, that's what I got. I hate when sometimes like lashes are so hard to put on if you don't put them on frequently you're not they're not gonna go on the first time so it took me tons of tries I wasn't even gonna do lashes because I feel like this look will look cute without lashes but I want to be extravagant it's like holiday season so you gotta be super freaking festive all right so first thing I am going to do is color correct my little mouth situation right here with my LA girl pro conceal in the orange corrector sorry took me a long time to say that so I'm just going to go ahead and go in around my mouth because I just feel like when I put on my foundation it looks like I have hey mascara flakes in my nose oh that's for real um I just feel like it looks super dark around this area. I don't do a lot. 
but I do like to color correct this area because I don't like looking like I forgot to shave this morning, you know? And a lot of my melanate, melanated sisters know what I'm talking about. A tiny bit of my eye because your girl has some puffy eyes right now for whatever reason. Get the awkward little pimples and dark marks up here. All right, so let me just go in with my fingers, <laughs> the tools God gave me. So I'm gonna go ahead and dab just so I can have one singular color on my freaking face. Who's excited for holiday season? Like, if you are, comment below. Let me know. Like, let me know what's your favorite part about holiday season. Like, I, um, I like holiday season. I'm not even gonna front. I'm not gonna lie. But the snow can go somewhere else with that BS. Like, for real. It, it gets on my nerves. It gets on my nerves. So, now that... Your girl Ooh, is color corrected. I'm going to go in with two foundations. This is my Maybelline Fit Me foundation in the color 330. It's called Toffee. And I'm, of course, going in with my Fenty Beauty. We're not even going for it right now. I'm going in with 390. The reason why I decided to put these two together is because I have dry skin, like I said before. And I feel like later on in the day, my skin looks a little bit textured when the weather gets a little bit cold so i said i want a dewy and smooth finish but the color of this i want this finish but in this color so but i'm putting these to get two together and then don't forget about my pixie by petra right her right her um i'm just gonna put that on my little finger for my hand why did i put to say my finger so this is just a glow booster, just to add some little glow to the face because you know you lose it when you put your foundation on. Like why? I don't know. So I'm just going, only con about this Maybelline Fit Me, I hate, I hate doing this. Like, look how slow it wants to come out. So I'm gonna just pull, we're gonna pull that back. We're gonna do another like small dab, 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 dab. I don't want I don't ever put a lot of this on my hand because this also gives me a gray undertone that I do not F with. So I'm just gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty and do two squirts of that. Badow. Badow. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix all of those in my hand like a little paint palette. Don't judge me. Because if you're judging me, I'm judging you. So we're just gonna go in on my, on my face. We're gonna just go in. We're gonna get that girl together. We're gonna go under these under eyes, cover these Fendies that I carry daily. Alright. We're just gonna do that. So, and then you wanna get your color corrected area for sure. All right, get the forehead. I'm sorry, the five head. I'm sorry, that's what I call it. The five head that I was blessed with. You know, I pack all my much needed info in that thing. All the little devious things I can do. It's like, nah, I'm not devious. I'm super crazy, but not devious. Of course not. This smells like baby powder. Maybe it's just me being weird. But yeah, I'm just going to go in and do that. And then your girl gonna go in with this big fluffy i just wet this and it's like so big excuse me if you guys hear phone vibrating for whatever reason 
Um, but yeah, I just damp, I have my damp Real Techniques blending sponge and we're just gonna go in. All right, so just so this can look more skin-like, I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools blending brush. We just go and get that skin like, okay? I'm just gonna buff it out and I'm probably gonna speed past this. So if you wanna skip past it, go ahead. <laughs> All right, so we are done blending that out. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Cool Tan and I'm gonna just squeeze the life of what's left out of here. I have another one, but when you have like a lots of makeup, it's like having too many kids. You can't ever keep track of them all. Maybe I should not have just said that, but hey, I don't have kids for real, so I treat my makeup as my children. So, yeah. Is it me? Has anyone, is like anyone just getting onto the LA Girl Concealer? And you know, I guess the everybody who's getting onto LA Girl Concealer now, like bless you, because you've been missing out on a gem. But I remember when I first started getting into the LA Girl Concealer, because I had some trial and error at first. It was cheap. It was like, let me say, like two and a half, three years ago. It was like. $2.99, but when everybody like started, you know, getting on it, onto it, it started getting in high, like, let me think. Okay, so when it first came out, it was like a dollar, it was super cheap. Then like two and a half years ago, it was like $2.99. I went in um, Ulta, this junk, $7.99. I was like, hold on, hold on. Why y'all going up? I know y'all getting popular, but y'all need to calm down, like. Okay, so now I'm about to go in with my Revolution Luxury Baking Powder just to set my under eye and all the contoured areas that I just did. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on some other setting powder because I don't use that plug as much. So I'm just damp it in there, dab, 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 because I'm weird. I still use my other mineral powder, it's just not much needed like it used to be. I'm just gonna go in under my eye, under my eye, then I'm going to sweep the chin, oh honey child, oh baby. So I'm gonna just leave that there for a minute. I'm gonna just do a slight bake, a slight baking session over here. And I'm going to go in with my, ooh, ooh, my Black Radiance True Complexion Cream Contour Palette. And I'm going to find my new brush. I obtained this yesterday. This is the Elf Contouring Brush. I love how it's shaped, like it's just like, it just says contour the out of my cheekbones. And I only paid $4 for this brush. Like what? Okay, I don't think this brush likes my cream contour though. So let me try to get as much out as I can. Okay. So I'ma just snatch the cheekbones. Ooh! Ooh! I'ma just bring it down. I bring my contour down just a little bit more just because I feel like I have like not a good full structure to my face. And it's not even saying I don't have a good structure. Um, I don't have like, I guess, it's, maybe it's just me. I don't have like prominent cheekbones. Like my mom, she has cheekbones. I have <laughs> and 
then I'm going to go ahead and set my contour with my Black Radiance Finishing Powder in the color Golden Woman. You guys see this all the time. You know it's my favorite. Like, it's my favorite because of the price and the I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Tarte Blush. Super, super cute blush. It's like, it adds color to your face, but the right amount of color where you're not looking overdone. So we're just going to do some smiling. And then we're going to go ahead and set the spray. At, set the spray. Set the face with my makeup mist and spray or mist and set. Oh my, you just out here fooling. So go ahead, set my face real quick. I glow hard. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go with my NYX Dual Chromatic Highlighter or Illuminator, cause it illuminates for sure. So the next thing I'm going to do is my lips. I had a small bit of trouble trying to figure out if I wanted to do like a mauve -y color or do a dark brown and then throw a nude on top of it. Um, I still don't know. Like, I feel like this eyeshadow. We just gonna line it first and we gonna figure it out. I'm lining my lips in my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color I'm Vintage. I low-key might wanna do an ombre. So I'm just gonna go in with my Bite Crayon and I am going to do, what should I do? I'm gonna do an ombre. I'm gonna just do an ombre. So I'm gonna just lightly go in my top lit and just outline the liner that I just did with that okay and then I'm going to go in with my Tarte lip paint in the color I don't know oh birthday suit <laughs> I see you Tarte getting a little nasty if you enjoyed this holiday sleigh let me know in the comment section below Thank you for watching my video. Make sure you guys go click on some more videos. Don't act like it's not 18 more videos. Okay. Thank you for watching. And have a happy holidays, you guys.